to me, it's so touching. I read this several, numerous times to prepare, and I was just touched how the Lord uh, was there to gently come in and try to help this woman confess. If you look at the next section here, it says, The way to take the living water, A, to make confession of sins. And uh, I've considered my way sometimes to try to help pe- people, and I'm very harsh. And I realize I, I am not the Lord. And the Lord here, he said to her, what? Uh, Sir, give me this water so that I will not thirst nor come here to draw. In 16, he said to her, go, call your husband and come here. He's trying to help her confess. Uh, so the first point is this. You know how we really get living water? Is we learn how to confess our sins. And it's wonderful because we make a divine trade. We give the Lord our sins, and He gives us living water. We confess our sins, and He flows out living water. This is such a wonderful trade, and this is what the Lord did here. He was trying to help her confess. And she's, like many of us, you know, He was helping her, and then she just sidestepped. She avoided. Uh, she right away, uh, you know, she thought she was pretty smart. She said, the woman answered and said, I, don't, I do not have a husband. Jesus said to her, you have well said, I do not have a husband, for you've had five husbands. And the one you have now is not your husband. This you have truly said. This you have said truly. Uh, so even after the Lord nailed her, He spoke to her clearly. Uh, She still wanted to change the topic in verse 19 there. And she said here, the woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you're a prophet. Isn't that interesting? It's just like us, right? When the Lord has us pinned and he knows exactly our case and we're there. And he really just wants us to confess. He just wants us to open up to him. And if we will open to the Lord, you know what? We will get filled with living water. 